My name is Lauren, and today I'm here with Engineering Ambassadors from RPI to show you how you can fit this egg into this bottle. Now, as you can see, the egg cannot fit right into the bottle without me having to break it. Therefore, I'm going to need a little bit of science to help me do it. For this experiment, we're going to need several different things. First, we're going to need a glass bottle. The height of our bottle does not matter too much, as long as it is large enough that the egg can fall into it. What is more important is that the mouth of the bottle, or the opening, is small enough that the egg cannot just fall right through. Next, we are going to need several hard boiled eggs. Then we're going to need a lighter, a pair of scissors, and some strips of paper. Remember, because we are using fire, we're going to want to practice extra safety precautions. Now, before beginning our experiment, we're going to want to do two things. The first thing we're going to do is hard boil some eggs. Once they have cooled down, we're going to peel the eggs and place them in a bowl for later. Then, we're going to want to take a strip of paper and cut it into small strips. We want to make sure that these are relatively long so that we don't have our fingers too close to the flame, but also that they can fit into our bottle, just like that. Now, we are ready to begin. We're going to take our piece of paper and light it on fire. We're going to quickly place it into the jar and the egg right on top. Whoop. And just like that, our egg gets sucked into the bottle. So, how does this occur? This is a result of the ideal gas law. The ideal gas law states that pressure times volume equals the number of moles times the gas constant times the temperature. This equation is very important for a number of situations, and especially in this one that we saw right here. What we're going to be focusing on is the pressure and the temperature. So at the start of our experiment, the pressure inside of the bottle is the same as the air all around you. However, once we light that piece of paper on fire and place it in and quickly place the egg as the stopper on top, the temperature inside the bottle is going to increase, which means the pressure will as well. Even with the egg blocking much of the opening, some of the air is still able to escape from the bottle because the pressure inside is much greater than the surroundings. But once our flame goes out, the temperature inside the bottle is going to start to decrease, which means the pressure will as well. And slowly, or in this case, rather quickly, the pressure outside is going to become much greater and ultimately our egg is going to get pushed right into the bottle 